When the latest eruption in the uh, Swartzengi volcanic system started, it was like this. Listen. This was probably the last time we saw the Grindavik Rift Valley so empty. Several vents started erupting, forming cones. Many of them uh, burst from the base and creating lava flows. Many wall collapsed. This is in the K1 uh, volcano, the last and largest of the remaining vents is still erupting. And through these collapses, we ended up with the spillages, which were uh, forming a shield around the base of the volcano. This uh, wall collapses also led to the tightening of the uh, neck of the opening of the vent, leading to the level of the lava rising and overspilling. Overspillage and shattering created lava tubes. Lava tubes are the result of that when it happens on the wall of the uh, uh, volcano. And you can see the result is this uh, smoking uh, and degassing parts which we see. Uh, we had spills over recently again that showed there was a, a change in the direction of the uh, lava tube feeding the lava. This is today. We see that this lava tube which was erupting through that is dead. The other side, we see some gas, the gassing happening. I will show you the other side. You can see that. That shows us during the night and in the dark when the cameras were not able to pick anything because of the bad weather. This spillover happened. We saw the result of it as a lava uh, streams and a lot of also slumps. Over time has happened there, tightening up again. This volcano is gradually dying out. Something like what we saw in the Little Hoto volcano. This is the Little Hoto just before it completely and forever be silent as the, at this stage. There's a huge slumps created and tightened up the neck and opening and gradually all the little vents inside it also died out and the volcano ceased to erupt. Probably this is what we are going to see in the K1 uh, volcano, it's volcanic system.